also from this book. You, you may notice my books have marvelous photographs on the cover. And they come with the book. <laughs> <laughs> you can cut them out and frame them. I can even recommend someone to frame them for you uh, if you need them. Uh, this is called The Language Problem. And it was born of a poem by William Empson. Uh, he's got a refrain line. He wakes up in an earthquake in Japan with a Japanese woman. He's not sure how they got there together. Really. But he's sort of alarmed. And he keeps trying to ask her questions. And she doesn't understand English and he doesn't understand Japanese. And he's got to refrain, the language problem, but you've got to try. Uh, and that's the way I feel. I have a language problem, too. I mean, I, the poems don't come out the way I want them. I want them immortal, and they're mortal. The language problem. Cuban Spanish is incomprehensible, even to Cubans. <laughs> Quote, if you spit in his face, he'll tell you it's raining, the cab driver said. In Cuban, it means your cigar is from Tampa. <laughs> Single, desperate, almost 40, my ex-wife told the Cuban doctor she'd give a million dollars for a perfect pair of breasts. God hates a coward, he said and directed her to an orthopedic shoe store where everything smelled like iodine. A full page ad on the back of Nueva Prensa Cubana clearly read, quote, free rum, 24 hours a day and more on weekends. <laughs> free rum was in italics. When I showed up that evening at the right address, I had this boat 28. The little merchant I spoke to said, Rum? This is not a distillery. They were flogging Venetian blue umbrellas for $4 American. Mine was made in Taiwan, and when it rained, refused to open. <laughs> Before sunset, the streets filled with music. In the great plaza of the revolution, the dark came slowly, filled with the perfume of automobile exhaust and wisteria. I danced with a girl from Santiago de Cuba. Gabriela Mistral Garcia was her name. She was taller than I and wore her black hair in a wiry tangle. She was a year from her doctorate in critical theory. After our dance, she grabbed me powerfully by the shoulders as a comandante in a movie might, leaned down as though to kiss me on the cheek and whispered in my good ear, I dream of tenure. <laughs> it was the 50s all over again. 